welcome to Pillsbury Baptist Bible College Memory Lane. Hello, my name is John Taloyan. Please join me today. We'll take a look at some of the important places, important people in the history of Pillsbury Baptist Bible College. The Pillsbury campus was founded in 1877 as the Minnesota Academy. In 1886, it was renamed the Pillsbury Academy after George Pillsbury, a chief donor and the one-time mayor of Minneapolis. In 1920, it was renamed the Pillsbury Military Academy, and in 1957, Pillsbury Baptist Bible College was founded. In the 1970s, Pillsbury's enrollment hit 800, but on December 31, 2008, Pillsbury closed its doors for good as a Bible college. If you're interested in a video showing the campus of Pillsbury, search Pillsbury Video Memory on YouTube. The channel is Taisha24, or you can find the video on John Teloyan's homepage or Facebook, but you have to be my friend. But hey, Pillsbury's not about the buildings, it's about the people. So let's pull back the curtain and let's take a look at some of the people who made Pillsbury College special. When it's all been said and done There is just one thing that matters Did I do my best to live for truth? Did I live my life? When it's all been said and done Students, call me a spiritual being All my treasures will mean nothing Only what I've done for love's reward Will stand the test of time Your mercy is so great That you look beyond our weakness And find the purest gold and miry clay Making sinners into saints And I will always sing your praise here on earth and ever after for you've shown me heaven's my true home when it's all been said and done you're my life when life is gone There is just one thing that matters Did I do my best to live for truth? Did I live my life for you? Lord, I'll live my life for you
Hi, Jerry. Hello, Ed. Stellar golfing. Congratulations. Hey, Steve. Hold that throw right there. I got to get some more music. And now let's listen as Brother Randy Miller reads the school song. In southern Minnesota, 10,000 lakes of blue, on the hills of Owatonna, neath skies of azure hue, there stands a mighty fortress of the truth our fathers taught. O God, we stand in awe of the work which thou hast wrought. In ancient ivied halls, mid culture's pleasing grace, within these hallowed walls, our Lord shall have first place. O teach us, Lord, thine inspired word, written by men of old, moved by thy Holy Spirit, dearer far than gold. Ten thousand men and demons attack our cause, forsooth, were fully panoplied, girt round the loins with truth. In breastplate of righteousness made ready our feet are shod, with thorough preparation, the gospel of peace with God. Then with the mighty shield of faith we quench each fiery dart, O fill us, Holy Spirit, and never from us depart. In helmet of salvation we wield the Spirit's sword, a weapon never failing, God's everlasting word. Arise, ye sons and daughters, Pillsbury warriors all, from jungles far away, from town and hamlet small, come cries of souls, sin-bound, and doomed to endless woe. All your hearts with love of flame, arise, and to them go. Thanks, Randy. Well done. As we wrap things up, let's listen to Brother Tim Oynes on the organ once more. Harvest home? I love caramel apple, please. Hope you enjoyed our trip down memory lane as much as I did. If you're in Japan, please stop in and say hello. We'd love to see you. Friends, may God bless you greatly wherever you are living. Special thanks to Brother Tim Moynes for his good work on the piano and the organ playing the school song, and also to Randy Miller for doing so well reading the school song. That's it. See you here, see you there, or see you in the air.